We ended the previous video talking about fishing effort. If you had a zero fishing effort, you were at the carrying capacity K. With higher levels of fishing effort, you go to the left on this graph. I now want to make a graph that explicitly shows the fishing effort. So the horizontal axis is fishing effort. I'm going to label the vertical axis steady state yield. Uh, steady state yield is the same as sustainable yield. Because in the steady state, the situation is unchanging from year to year, and so things are sustainable. By the way, in terms of language, sometimes biologists call this an equilibrium yield. But we don't want to do that in this class, and because we want to reserve the word equilibrium in this class for the economic meaning of equilibrium as quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. And so when I use the word equilibrium in this class, I'll only mean it in its economic sense, so quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. And hence, in this biological discussion, I'll use words like steady state. So the question is, here with fishing effort, as you go to the right in fishing effort, what happens to steady state yield? Well, if we look down what we had before on the bottom graph, uh, with zero fishing effort, you were at this point, which brings you a sustainable yield, a steady state yield of zero. So with zero fishing effort, which is here, zero fishing effort, the sustainable yield here, here is zero. So we've got a point here at zero. Now let's look at what happens when fishing effort increases. So as you start increasing fishing effort, you, see you start in this graph and then you go here and here and here, you can see that you're moving up this line here, here, and here, and therefore you're moving up this axis here, here, and here, which means that as fishing effort increases the sustainable yield is going to increase. So we've got this kind of relationship. But now what happens when we further increase fishing effort beyond, beyond the, the number six, 60 here? If we further increase fishing effort, let's say to here or to here, well then we're going here to this point or here to this point and you see that the vertical coordinate falls and so beyond um, the population size of 60 which is of course much a certain fishing effort I haven't said what uh, beyond that um, the fishing effort is going to fall now I erased something that I didn't want to erase so before we had this I didn't mean to erase that so that corresponds to the relationship between fishing effort and sustainable yield in this part of the graph. And now I'm trying to get the relationship between fishing effort and sustainable yield in this left-hand part of the graph. And what I've got in the left-hand part of the graph, and so I know I'm repeating myself now, is that as fishing effort, effort goes up, maximum sus uh, um, sustainable yield goes down and so this starts going down and eventually you get to the origin again where fishing effort is very high but it generates no sustainable yield at all and so the top graph here goes to zero again I want to make something clear the the um, let's see if I can erase this 
The right-hand part of this graph corresponds to the left-hand part of this graph because the right-hand part of the bottom graph is where we were increasing fishing effort and so we have an increase in sustainable yield. And similarly, the left-hand part of this graph corresponds to the right-hand part of this graph because in the left-hand part of the first graph, as fishing effort increases, maximum sustainable yield falls. And that's exactly what happens in this top graph. As fishing effort increases, uh, sustainable yield falls. I might have said maximum sustainable yield. I, didn't, I don't mean maximum. This is, maximum sustainable yield just happens at one point. So what I meant is as fishing, as fishing effort increases, sustainable yield falls. And again, sustainable yield and steady state yield are the same thing. So, so this is the the relationship between uh, on the top between steady state yield and fishing effort, and it looks a lot like the bottom graph, but it's actually not not the same as the bottom graph. Uh, 